Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at tonicity. Now, tonicity is comparing concentrations of solutions. And when we look at it biologically, we're looking at the concentration of a solution compared to a human cell. So the first thing you need to be aware of is that the human cells or cells within our body have a particular concentration of substances inside. Now, the primary substances we're looking at is that of sodium chloride, so salt. And the concentration of salt within the cells of our body is 0.9%. So of all the solution inside our cells, 0.9% is salt. Now this is important because when we start to infuse IVs or fluids within to a patient, what you're gonna find is that that particular solution is gonna be of a particular concentration. And if it differs to that of the cells of the body, then something can happen which may or may not be desired. So let me give you an example. Firstly, we're gonna start with that right in the middle. We've got the cells of our body, the concentration within those cells is 0.9% salt. So you can see we've got some solutes or salt inside of this cell. And now we're infusing into a patient a bag and that bag is containing salt as well. That's also 0.9%. Now, when the concentration of the solution that you are introducing is the same concentration of that inside the cells, it is termed isotonic. Iso means the same, tonic is referring to the concentration. So we are infusing an isotonic solution. That means it's going to have the same concentration as that of the cells in our body. Now, if there is, this is where you start need to think about um, diffusion, start thinking about osmosis. If the concentration of the solutes outside the cell is equivalent to the concentration of solutes inside the cell. Remember diffusion, solutes want to move down a concentration gradient to balance themselves out. There's no concentration gradient, there's nothing to balance out. So no solutes are moving anywhere. What about osmosis? Osmosis is the movement of water down its concentration gradient. But because there's no concentration gradient, then whatever water moves out of the cell is going to be equivalent to that water moving into the cell and no change happens. This is what happens in, when you introduce an isotonic solution. If we look at a hypertonic solution, hyper means more than. So that means the solution that you're introducing to the body is of a higher concentration than that of the cells, being 0.9%. In this case, I've just chosen any concentration higher than 0.9%, so I've chosen 5%. You could use an example of even just 1% or 1.5%, it doesn't matter. So I'm introducing a hypertonic solution, 5%. That means I'm introducing a solution that is far more concentrated than that of the cells. Now, you know diffusion. These solutes wanna diffuse down their concentration gradient into the cell, but remember, cells are surrounded by a phospholipid bilayer. They do not let through large and charged particles, so they're not getting through. So osmosis comes into play, and you know that osmosis is the movement of water down its concentration gradient. But the way I like to think about osmosis is, compare both sides of the membrane, whichever side has the most stuff dissolved in it, or solutes, that side is gonna win the tug of war when it comes to water, and it will pull water towards it. So in this situation, when you introduce a hypertonic solution to the body, water will be dragged out of the cells towards the higher concentration to try and balance out the concentration. That means these cells begin to shrink or dehydrate. That is termed crenation. So again, when the water gets pulled out of the cells because there's a higher concentration of stuff outside due to osmotic pressure and pull, that cell begins to dehydrate. It shrinks, which we call crenation. Okay, this is what happens when you introduce a hypotonic solution. A hypotonic solution, hypo means less than. So that means the concentration of stuff that we're introducing to the body is less than the concentration of that of the cell. Here I've chosen 0% sodium chloride. So that means this could be water, for example. Water is 0% sodium chloride. So water is actually a hypotonic solution. If you were to introduce that to the body, that means the concentration of stuff outside the cell is far less than that inside the cell. There's a concentration difference. Osmosis, water is going to get pulled towards the higher concentration of solutes, which is inside the cell. So water gets dragged in to the cell when you introduce a hypotonic solution. That means the cell gets big, fat and round and ultimately bursts. And this bursting we call lysis. Lysis is the bursting of the cell. So this is an introduction to tonicity.